Hello friends, welcome to VFocus classes. Myself Raman, currently working for State Bank of India as a branch manager. In this latest video, we discuss about the latest notification released by Intelligence Bureau. In short, we say IB. So many people have been waiting for this notification for the last two years. Finally, their wait is over. The notification is released. And this notification is all about uh, for the recruitment of Assistant Central Intelligence Officer. In short, we say ACIO for the year 2023. And the number of vacancies are huge, 995 vacancies and spread across categories and for unreserved 377, EWS 129, OBC 222, SC 134, ST 133. Every category is having three digit number of vacancies. None of the categories having two digit vacancies. So I consider this is an excellent opportunity. The basic qualification for this job is graduation or equivalent from a recognized university and desirable qualification knowledge of computers. In simple, you have to be a graduate with the knowledge of computers. So what is job? What is this job exactly called? The classification of job is Central General Service Group C non-gazetted. This is a non-gazetted post in Group C Central Government Service. And what is the pay scale? Level 7 in the pay matrix plus admissible central government allowances. So what is level 7 pay matrix? That is on initial appointment the following pay and allowances are admissible. Basic pay is 44,900. DI is 46% of the basic pay. Means on this 44,900 you will be getting 46% and it is as and date. You know that DI keeps on changing for every quarter. So if you are getting recruited in the month of December 2024, then your DA will be as per December 2024 only, not as per December 2023. So it may slightly increase from 20,654 to it may increase to 21,000 or 22,000 also. And you'll be getting SSA, this is 20% of the basic pay, 8,980 and you'll be getting HRA, 9% to 27% of basic pay. So everything is related to basic pay depending upon the classification of city of posting. Transport allowance, higher TPTA cities, 3600 plus 3600 on DA, DA on 3600, other places 1800 plus DA. So this again transport allowance also depending on your place of posting. And government contribution towards NPS at the rate 14% that is 6286. Basically NPS is new pension scheme. It means like you yourself from your salary will be contributing some amount towards NPS. Let's say you are contributing 6,286 every month towards NPS. The government also will contribute 6,286 every month till your retirement. After the retirement, you will be getting pension from whatever the contributed amount, whatever you have contributed till the pen, uh, 60 years of age. From that, you will be getting the pension after your retirement. So this is simply NPS. So if you calculate all this basic pay, DA, SSA, HRA, transport allowance, your total net take home salary, like the salary you will be getting into your hands, it is not less than 70,000. So you will be making a 70,000 salary every month. That is a very decent amount for a beginner with a simple graduate qualification. So I consider this is an opportunity and apart from this in addition to the above there are other facilities will be given and uh, for holidays uh, the, the, uh, for the duty performed on holidays you will be getting some amount annual increment you will be getting medical facilities you will be getting for yourself and dependent family members LTC facilities for yourself and dependent family members children education allowance, government accommodation as per entitlement subject to availability. These are the extra facilities that you will be getting apart from the salary. So the salary is decent and the other facilities like government accommodation, children education allowance, LTC facilities, medical facilities, these are very important these days. These are available and in addition to all these things, on top of this thing, you will be getting into IB. Intelligence Bureau of India. So that is much, much respected in India. So on top of this thing, that, that the name you get after getting into IP, that matters to you. That is huge. 
that is huge beyond your salary and beyond your you know other facilities so that's where uh, you'll making you'll be making a differentiation to other jobs and ib so i say this is an excellent opportunity and uh, what is the age limit for this job between 18 and 27 years there is a upper age limit upper age limit is relaxable for by 5 years for scst and by 3 years for obc candidates so there is a relaxation in upper age 5 years for scst and 3 years for obc and upper age limit is relaxable for departmental candidates those who are working those who are already in service in government service they they are also having some relaxation and upper age limit is relaxable for in case of widows divorced women and as well so and for them also there is a relaxation for ex servicemen there is a relaxation so basic age limit is 18 to 27 years subject to your category the category you belong scst or obc or departmental candidate or ex servicemen or uh, uh, whether you are widow divorced women or judicially separated but uh, uh, husband uh, ju- judicially separated from husband and not remarried depending on your category you, you are having some age relaxation so what is the service liability for this job this post involves all india transfer liability therefore the candidates willing to serve anywhere in india only need to apply so it means you should accept the condition that you will be posted anywhere in india your transfer your job is transferable anywhere in india so you must accept for that condition if you accept that condition if you are willing to that condition then only you apply for this job and description of examination there is a written examination and interview written examination is of two parts one is tier 1 exam and uh, another is tier 2 exam in tier 1 exam you will be given 100 objective type mcqs divided into five parts containing 20 questions of one mark each so there are five subjects like current affairs general studies numerical aptitude reasoning logical aptitude english so same type of syllabus is given for ssc exams as well so for the people who are preparing for ssc exam this is in tune with their preparation the current affairs general studies numerical aptitude reasoning logical aptitude english they are the same the time is given here is 1 hour and marks are 100 it is everything same there is a negative marking of 1 4 mark for each wrong answer there is a negative marking as well what is there in tier 2 descriptive type of paper of 50 marks that is for essay writing like 30 marks and english comprehension and precise writing for 20 marks so there is, there is a descriptive type of paper and in that you will be you need to write essay writing and english comprehension and precise writing you will be given one hour time for 50 marks and once you clear this exam tier 1 and tier 2 then based on your marks and based on you know uh, marks decided by ib you will be called if your performance is very good you will be called for the interview the interview will be 100 marks so once you see this examination pattern and all this is well in tune with our ssc preparation so people uh, who are already in ssc preparation or other government job preparation this is not a very tough task you know you are not preparing any other extra subject or any other new subject your preparation is in tune with already uh, the preparation you are in so give a best attempt here and get recruited into ip and it matters a lot once you get recruited into ip your respect will you know uh increase like anything and your your stature will increase like anything it is a very good opportunity and very any like any uh, what are the important dates for this exam so opening date of date for online registration of application 2511 it is already started and closing date of submission of application with submission of online application uh, fee through debit card credit card net banking upi etc so closing date of submission of application so you can apply uh, the closing date is 15 12 uh, with submission of online application fees you pay the fees online through net banking or debit card or credit card the date given is 15 12 2023 20, so 15th december is the last date last date for last date of submission of application fee through sbi chalan offline branch submission means fee payment through offline through offline means you need to go to sbi branch and pay the chalan for that 19 12 20 23 is given i said don't opt for this unless you are unable to make online payment 
don't opt don't opt for this i i say you go for online payment and you may complete the process application process by 15 12 20 23 don't take any risk don't take any chance and there is an examination fee for this the examination fee is 100 and recruitment processing charges are 450 so how this uh, these are to be paid all candidates need to pay recruitment processing charges of 450 so everyone has to pay 450 whether you are ex serviceman whether you are Uh, SCST, whether you are OBC, whether you are EWS, whether you are undeserved candidate, everyone has to pay 450 rupees. Apart from this, some candidates like male candidates, especially male candidates of undeserved EWS and OBC, need to pay examination fee of 100 rupees. So undeserved EWS, OBC, male candidate, not female, only male. they have to pay extra 100 rupees other than this for in addition to this 450 rupees so your fees will be 550 and all the candidates fees will be only 450 so this is all about the notification friends huge number of vacancies uh, this opportunity after 2 years and you may not get opportunity next year again so make use of this opportunity and give your best for the preparation and give your best in the exam and i hope i see you as uh, you know acibo in ib very soon so where you need to apply for this job uh, here is the link i post this link in the description as well so click here and you'll be re- redirected to the site and you can apply there and uh, <coughs> i wish you all the best for this uh, you know preparation and uh, for exam and for uh, interview and everything and i thank you very much for watching this video and as I, as always i request you to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and sh- don't forget to share this video with your friends thank you very much